Before we pour the agar plates, we need to label the Petri dishes. Petri dishes are labeled on the base because lids can be easily mixed up. We need to label 16 plates LB. LB stands for Luria Bertani agar, and this is just bacteria food. Next, we need to label 16 plates LB amp. These plates contain LB agar and the antibiotic ampicillin, which is used to identify transformed bacteria. Finally, we need to label eight plates LB amp era. These plates contain LB agar, ampicillin, and the sugar arabinose, which is used to switch on the GFP gene. Aseptic technique should be used when pouring agar plates. For this, you'll need a 10% bleach solution, and you may wish to use a Bunsen burner to prevent any airborne contamination. First, we need to pour the 16 LB agar plates. You can pour the agar while it's still very hot, and that will help reduce any airborne contamination. Before you begin, you need to flip the plates over so that they're the right way up. Then, using a heat-proof glove, pour about 10 mils of agar into each plate. Leave the plates and the remaining agar to cool for about an hour. During this time, we will rehydrate the ampicillin and the arabinose. To open the vial, first remove the metal ring. Next, slowly remove the rubber stopper to allow air into the vial and break the seal. Once the seal has been broken, it is safe to remove the stopper completely. Ampicillin and arabinose are rehydrated using a transfer pipette. These are sterile and individually wrapped. Open them at the bulb end where the paper and plastic are split. Avoid touching the tip. This is important. Contamination at any stage could ruin the experiment. Ampicillin and arabinose are rehydrated in transformation solution. To avoid bubbles, it's a good idea to squeeze the bulb of the pet first before entering the liquid. Gently release the bulb of the pipette until the liquid hits the one mil mark on the pipette. Add this to the ampicillin. Add two more mils of transformation solution to the ampicillin. Discard the transfer pipette into the bleach solution. With a fresh transfer pipette, rehydrate the arabinose in three milliliters of transformation solution. This will take about 10 minutes to dissolve. You can speed up the process by warming the bottle at 37 Celsius. After about an hour, the remaining agar will have cooled to about 50 Celsius, or cool enough so that you can touch the flask with your bare hand. Add the entire contents of the rehydrated ampicillin. It is very important to allow the remaining agar to cool before you add the ampicillin, or it will become inactivated. Swirl the flask to mix the contents. Now pour your 16 LB amp plates. Finally, add the arabinose to the remaining agar and pour the last eight plates. Allow the plates to set. You can leave the plates at room temperature for one or two days to allow extra moisture to evaporate and the plates will be more absorbent during the experiment. This is not vital though.